without realizing. Good morning, we're almost there. Thank you for your patience. Stana Katic is here. She's the star of ABC's hit crime drama, Castle. She plays a detective on the show, but the biggest mystery she's working on to solve in real life is how to get people out of their cars. And she's here to talk about the alternative travel project. Stana. I'm Stana Kadic. I'm uh, the founder of the Alternative Travel Project, um, which is a global initiative that encourages people to go car free for just one day. I'm going to throw a bunch of stats your way, and if anything sticks, then I've done my job. Do you know that if everyone on our planet went car free for just one day, we would save 11.7 million tons of carbon dioxide? I can tell that's hitting home. <laughs> How about this? Um, it takes over a billion trees, one billion, seven hundred million trees to absorb all of that CO2. So, one day car free, one billion trees. Oh, wow. We can affect our environment by making a different choice for just one day. And if you're not bothered by the environment, how about saving lives? <laughs> The British Medical Association states that cycling 20 miles a week cuts the risk of coronary heart disease in half. That's a disease that kills almost 400,000 Americans a year. So we can pause with that for a hot second. If you're not a fan of trees, you're not big on saving lives, <laughs> let me tell you something that might hit you where it really hurts. The American Public Transit Association estimates that those that use public transit in LA in 2012 saved almost $11,000 annually. Transportation is the second highest household expense for the average American. So maybe you thought that going car free for just one day wasn't such a big deal. It is. Making a different choice in our transit mode can affect our environment, health, and pocketbooks. It's a choice that can have reverberating effects in our own lives, in our communities, and globally. So today we get a chance to play with the idea of what it means to have a lifestyle in which we cycle, we rollerblade, we walk, skateboard, and whatnot to get around. Wouldn't it be great if this was the norm? If getting around our city was safe, active, and fun, and didn't require hours in traffic. It is possible. It just requires us demanding more of our city and its transit infrastructure. So join Ciclavia, join us at ATP, and go car free for just one day. It could change the world for the better. Thank you, Stana. It's so true, this is your one day to go car free, but this doesn't count, okay? Go on another day as well. Bernie, where's Bernie? Where's Bernie? You gotta get the top people in front. Yeah, the front. Hold on a second. Good. Looking this way? Yeah. Photo bomb. Uh, can we have everybody from the National Open Street Summit up here? National Open Street Summit, if you're on the tour. National Open Street, by here by the podium, by the Berlin Wall. Do you want to try to do it now? Yeah, yeah. Can we get a picture? 